Hey guys, she's back. The lady with two broken arms. Um, I thought that since you already know how to get toothpaste on your toothbrush and how to use the potty, that you might want to know about how you're going to use the shower when you have a cast on and you can't get it wet. You can try this method, the plastic bag tape method, and you'll pull it around your arm, tape it on there, have tape wrapped around your your delicate little rose petal skin um, and then have it ripped off which feels just wonderful and probably have a partly wet cast because let's face it these never work so 86 that so what I did is I went on Amazon I searched cast showering cover some some combination of similar words and came up with this I uh, searched a lot of reviews and I was looking for information like, does it leak? How long does it last? Does it fit properly? And what I mostly found in the reviews were, I found a few people, yes, perfect. And I found other people who said, well, this is a piece of useless junk because the hole is so darn small that I can't get it on myself or my mother can't get it on herself. So it's a big waste. And I'm like, well, challenge accepted. So what I figured out like, even before I ordered it, my little brain started turning. And I was like, "Yeah, no, not crazy. Turning wheels, gears, okay? Good stuff. Um, I thought, I can wedge this puppy between my legs and use that to... Rich? Mallory? Alan? Are you laughing? Okay, stop that right now. This is important stuff. Get serious. Grow up. Come on. So, what I figured out is I can kind of press my hand here and... Hold it, hold it like between my legs. Can you guys see? Let me back up. Okay, and you push your arm through. And ta-da. Oh, ouch. Okay, so now my arm is in there, nice and safe and clean and dry. I've already used it once and it worked out fine. And after, and you can even, because it has this goofy mitten filmy thing, you can even kind of grab your towel and get dried off a little bit. And then when you're done, reverse the process. Rocket science, I know. So I just kind of had to, Pull it down a little bit like that first to get it in a good spot. And then I squeeze it in between my knees again. Give it a, uh, give it a pull. La la, look, oh, it's a miracle, a dry cast. Can you believe it? Okay guys, that's my next tip about how to live life with two broken arms. And I hope you guys are enjoying these. I am kind of having a lot of fun making them and I know well, A, it's going to give people laughs because I'm really working at that part of it and um, keeping my sunny side up. And the other is, one day, you know, it might be you or somebody you love, and you're going to say, you know what? I had this idiot friend, Lori, and she fell, you know, on top of a stupid snowy mountain. And um, instead of sitting around crying, woe is me, she said, hey, maybe I can help some people. And that's what I'm doing, and I'm really actually kind of enjoying doing it, truth be told. And yeah, so anyway, ciao.